Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing very well. I hope you're having a good weekend. So today I am here to do a full face of my old school favourites. I'm pretty sure I've done a video like this before um, and have previously spoken about these products quite a lot um, in my videos. So I thought today I would just do something a little bit it's just nice and kind of simple just talking about my old school favorites and just putting them on my face basically so so um first off we're going to start with a primer so we're starting off with the ordinary silicone primer um i recently repurchased this on beauty bay uh because i used to absolutely love this primer i think i was using it before i did this channel um so it's been definitely a while since i have used it um and beauty bay do sell ordinary um which is great because i'm waiting for um so there's this kind of sensitive skin uh kind of cream that i really want to get um i think it's like the acid or aslic whatever it's called i can't really pronounce it um but it's like a serum that i can try out for my rosacea so i've heard it's very good for sensitive skin very good for like kind of redness as well so ordinary is like a you know a company that i've not really tried a lot of products on um just because i have to be very careful with my skincare but when it comes to primers primers are very um like unoffensive to my skin <laughs> as you would kind of call it um so yeah using this primer was amazing um, like I said, I recently repurchased it after such a long time of not using it and it's really nice to start using it again because it is very nice and moisturising, um, it settles really nicely in the skin, um, yeah so I really like it. <laughs> I had to rearrange my lighting there, sorry, because it just went super dark. <laughs> so we're going in with foundation next, of course. And again, this is a product that I have recently repurchased because I thought it was gone forever. But I went to a beauty outlet in Wembley, um, kind of closer to where I live now. And they had the um, one of my old school favourites, which is the Rimmel Lasting Perfection. So I'm very happy that this exists still. <laughs> um, and yeah, I recently repurchased this. I did a video... Um, I think it was like a week or two ago talking about makeup that I got at the beauty outlet. So when I saw that this was there, I was very happy because I've, I've done a video on uh, my favourite foundations. And this was like pretty much number one, like my favourite foundations of like all time because this foundation is fantastic. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I mean, I've probably spoken about it like a million times on my channel. It just just works so well for someone like for the coverage um especially like obviously i've mentioned about a seven million times about my skin and the redness and the sensitivity but this is just really nice and um just really nice coverage really kind of just a nice foundation so i'm really happy that it's back in my life <laughs> um and i think at the beauty outlet because obviously it's meant to be discounted makeup which is essentially a, which is a very good thing <laughs> i'm very happy about a discounted makeup of course um i think this one is more like five six pounds where i think normally it's about ten pounds um beauty outlets you can find i mean i don't know if there's any outside of london but there is definitely one at the o2 and then at wembley um i think that might be it i'm not well to my knowledge that might be it i think there's a few more but um this foundation, I it's probably one of the kind of foundations that I used up like completely, um, and it's nice that it's got like a nice doe for applicator as well, so you don't have to kind of squeeze out too many or whatever. So with the applicators, because it's kind of like a little sponge, you can just tap it onto the skin, um, and it's looking really nice. I mean, you probably can't tell very well because my lighting is terrible as per usual, um, but this foundation is just super nice. So I've actually just put on like a couple of like dabs around on my face and it is looking super nice. I don't know, is that massive click? <laughs> um, next we're going in with setting powder and this is one of my favourite setting powders of all time. And it's been a while since I've used it, but I used to use it all the time. And I, ha I think I have used it a few times on my channel, I'm not 100% sure, but it's the Beauty Bakery um, setting powder. Um, and this is in the shade Yellow. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure how many shades that they have because Beauty Bakery is a black owned brand so I would you know kind of just assume that they would have 
a lot of different shades um you can get beauty bakery now in the morphe store i don't know if people are still hating against morphe right now um but you can get them in morphe you can get them in selfridges um you can get them in boots like some boot stores don't actually have any beauty bakery stuff um it's just more online um where else even the beauty bakery website but that's um their american brand actually boots did i mention did i say boots yeah boots have beauty bakery now which is amazing i really want to try um their palettes but their palettes are so expensive the palettes are like 40 pounds um and to be honest i've not seen a lot of videos on their palettes um so maybe one day i would definitely do a video but what i love about this powder it just the way it because i'm not a big fan of like loose powder because it literally just like goes everywhere but what i'm doing now because i'm it's in the pot and i'm just dabbing off a little bit and just putting it in the lid to kind of make sure i get a good ratio because if i like go from there on to here it will just look horrible um but i thought i would just do a little bit and it just settles in really well but i've always preferred kind of like the solid powder foundation and um, sorry setting powder so it kind of just you're able to kind of be a bit more controlled with it but with this powder it just feels so nice and it dries down quite matte on the skin even though i have really kind of like oily areas um which tend to like it seeps through but that's just normal um but yeah this powder is fantastic i think normally it's around 25 pounds or somewhere around that price it's a lot of money but this has lasted me such a long time and i still have quite a lot left like this has lasted me a few years i know that's probably disgusting um but it's so good <laughs> it's really good i mean i got this at like um a christmas gift set um like two three years ago i think and i'm still using it and it's still good it's good for setting the face so I recommend it. Um, with a blush now, I'm going with the BH Cosmetics um, Floral Blush. <laughs> this is a mouthful. Floral Blush. I said it. Um, and this is kind of like a two-toned um, blush. And I have mentioned this before, but if you tap into the dark one, it comes off really dark, obviously, onto the skin. So the best thing to do is kind of just give it a bit of a swirl, but then do a bit of a tapping aspects and then and then you can brush it on because if you brush it on like just completely i'll look even more of a clown than i normally do um but just to kind of blend it out and i love bh cosmetics i've mentioned them quite a few times on my channel um especially more recently the little quads that they came out with that i got on beauty bay they are so good and they're so pigmented um the money ratio i mean the quads are like like £12.50 for four um, and I believe this one is about £4.50 something like that um, again they come in array of shades so if you have different skin tone than me they have one they have a blush for you so fantastic I love this one so much it's still an old school favorite one of my favorites now we're going in with blush sorry no we didn't <laughs> we're going in with highlighter I don't know how I confuse both of them but I'm going in with the marzipan heart again really old products that i have in my collection but i love it it's such a great um just such a gorgeous shade i'm gonna swatch it you've probably if you've seen any of my kind of previous videos like come on um you know how much i love this highlighter like this is just freaking gorgeous um it's like i said i've had this for a very long time like I should probably throw it away. I mean, when I was moving and I was decluttering, I was getting rid of quite a few of the other marzipan of the kind of heart highlighters that I've got because I have so many of them. But this one I wanted to keep because it's so damn nice. Um, again, you can see like it's gorgeous. I love it. I don't know what else to kind of say about it. Um, next we're going with the eyes. So I'm just going to quickly prime my eyelid with the uh, Revolution Focus and Fix because more recently I've started to um, just prime my eyelids due to kind of the longevity of the um, eyeshadows and just making them pop out a little bit more than normal um, because priming the eyelid is always great. Um, I've kind of not i'm not using concealers anymore so 
you know, I just got to a point where I was like, I'm just going to use prime eye primers instead. Um, and they do work so much better. So for palette, I'm going in with my LA Splash Classic Horror. I've not used this in quite a while. Um, and I've had this for so many years as well. I think I've had this for about two, three years now. Um, not that it really matters because it's still a gorgeous palette. Like it's such a great selection of colours. And especially it's like monster themed. So if you guys don't know, I'm a big Universal Monsters fan. I talk about it all the time. Um, but this palette is just gorgeous and I love LA Splash. I pretty much have the whole collection of their lipsticks. Um, there's a couple more that came out that I haven't purchased yet. Um, but I will slowly. But today I I think I'm going to do like a green blue look because I have... There's obviously like red and purples. But I think today... I'm going to do a yellow green maybe blue i'm not going to incorporate too many colors because i'm not that talented into um just doing any so i'm just really oh what should i do i might do like this dark yellow then maybe add blue let's go for it i mean i can't look any more stupid than i do normally um and yeah let's just Let's just do it. Let's just do it because life is too short. So going in with Psycho, which is the yellow just here. I don't think I've even ever used this shade. I think I might have used it maybe once. Tap off the excess as per usual now. And we're just going to just put this a bit higher up because of my hooded eyelids. And yeah, this palette, I remember when it first came out. I was freaking out because I was like, I need this palette in my life. Um, and at that time, I had purchased all my kind of the monster lipsticks from Beauty Bay. I tweeted Beauty Bay. I think I've probably told this story before, but I tweeted um, Beauty Bay and I said, oh, are you getting this palette? And they're like, oh, we're probably not getting it. I'm really sorry. And I was just, I was just so tempted to get it from America. But obviously shipping and just everything is a pain in the ass when you live in the UK and you have to pay customs like I did recently when it came to Ofra long story if you don't if you haven't seen that story check out my Ofra video that I did probably a month ago I think it's been about a month now um about customs and everything like that but I'm just happy I got them um next I oh what should I do I'm gonna go in with the green let's go in with the green the only thing about this palette I'm not so as great on is because there's no shimmers it's all just matte shades but it's still a gorgeous palette anyway um so yeah I had tweeted Beauty Bay and I said oh are you getting this palette at all because I really want to get it because you know the lipsticks are gorgeous and everything and they said oh I don't think so that we're getting it apologies blah 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 so I was very close to um ordering it from America but then successfully they they had received it so I just saw a message and they were just like we now have the LA splash and I was just like but that person told me that we weren't that you weren't getting it so of course I ordered it like straight away um and it is just one of my favorite palettes ever it's just it's so gorgeous it's so buildable um I'm probably you can't see it that well on my camera I'm so sorry I'm still using my phone um to kind of film and just upload straight away on if you guys can tell like my videos are not edited at all i literally just <laughs> record upload and that's it um because i don't really have any funds for a super cool camera or a super cool laptop to like edit on but one day one day we'll get there um i am gonna go in with hmm Let's go in with Blue Moon, which is this here. So the, se the second one, the second shade I called was Madness. Um, and now Blue Moon, which is a dark, which is a kind of dark light blue, um, is gonna go in um, the corner just here. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I do still make these videos for kind of fun. Like I am taking this channel very seriously and I do, want it to go somewhere but i just right now cannot afford to own a nice camera and do the whole youtuber thing with like you know the kind of <clears throat> the kind of quality that i want it to be because you know we just moved into our new place and we're still trying to 
get everything in um and i'm just still trying to get used to working from home not you know just but i still hope you guys are enjoying my videos and thank you for everyone who is watching even if you don't watch the whole thing i understand i blabber on way too much even though i go on for like 15 20 minutes about utter crap but i appreciate you who watch me so thank you um with the i'm actually going to go for the black which is called lights out and i'm just going to put it in the corner just to um darken up the edges just a little bit i'm just going to blend because i just want to darken out the edges just a bit yeah this palette has a lot of fallout but the theme around it is amazing the color selection is pretty good yeah i like it i'll do closer shots um on for my instagram so if you follow me on there you'll see a, a better look i know i should be having a better look on screen i apologize again um but hopefully soon one day right so those are the eyes i just used four shades essentially just to do this look and again the primer itself is there to kind of emphasize the shade so very nice and next for mascara i'm going in with the a classic essence la splat no la splash what am i talking about no the um lash princess i don't know i'm just going backwards when it comes to la splash because obviously that's where the palette was from i saw the l and i was just like yeah la splash <laughs> i am um, thing is i'm not even that tired it's like it's like five o'clock in the afternoon i've had some family come and visit us so i thought let's film a video i'm not feeling too tired um so yeah you're seeing this video like the next day from i filmed it because today i've already uploaded a video if you haven't checked it out um i was just doing like a full face of makeup because i went to see some friends yesterday um which was really nice i didn't vlog any of seeing my friends um but um it was just a look that i did so yeah this mascara has always just been a nice favorite um it's kind of just does the job it's like a fake lash effect and i think it does do really nice kind of wonders to my eyelashes can you see no but you can take money <laughs> you can just like trust me on it i mean this mascara cost four pounds I think and you can get essence on like in Wilkinson's even though I think they might be getting rid of them because every time I go to a Wilkinson's there's like nothing left on the essence counter um and even feel unique essence fantastic and super cheap and cheerful and then lastly on the lips is definitely a brand that I want to try more from and it's sugar pill um and this is the shade duchess this is just such a gorgeous nude um, I went through a phase of just like loving nude shades and I have used this on my channel a few times and I think it's almost finished so I need to buy a new one. Uh, let's get this on. It's just such a nice kind of, I would, I guess you'd call it a pinky nude or like a, a mauve nude. I mean this is getting super dry now. I've had this for and maybe a year two almost two years i think but i really love this lipstick i really want to order myself a new one i think at the bottom i can tell it's almost finished but i just love the smell i think i've spoken about it before but this smells like the orange sweet in quality street so if you've had quality streets if you live in the uk you'd know what quality streets are um but it smells like the orange one but i'm so tempted to order myself a new one i might have to go and have a look on beauty bay whatever they've got but this is it this is my full face of my old school favorite makeup and you know what there's still some of my favorites especially the foundation i'm so glad i found it again um i'll be using that you know not as much because i want to kind of like keep it for a while um and then yeah all the products they all just work so well especially the eyeshadow palette like i probably have not done the best job um but i just really like it and that's it yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it um please give it a like i've seen to be getting a lot of dislikes recently i'm not taking it personally but i just if anyone is not enjoying my videos or not enjoying me i'm sorry but you know 
I'm here to do the best I can with these videos. So if you have any criticism, please let me know <laughs> instead of just disliking. But, you know, whatever, like or dislike, don't really care. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos every time I get a chance to, which hopefully is more often these days. And I thank you so much and I appreciate you and I hope you're well. And I will definitely see you soon. Bye, guys.